people have been interested in outer space since ancient times. However, those who came before us had very limited ways of studying it. At present, absolutely everything is possible thanks to modern technology. And SpaceX is one of the few entities that seeks to improve upon it. And how exactly? For example, by creating projects so groundbreaking that they become famous all over the world. I've spoken about them many times before, but I've never considered them in detail. I've never disassembled them and looked at each part, never looked inside, though it seems the time has come to do so. Everyone has heard of the Falcon Heavy Super Heavy launch vehicle. It was designed to transport people, spaceships, and various cargo into space. But let's talk about how this ship came to be, step by step. After all, such a powerful unit wasn't created instantly, and it also had its predecessors. The history of the Falcon family of vehicles began with the creation of the Falcon 1, a lightweight launch vehicle with a length of 21.3 meters or 69.8 feet, a diameter of 1.7 meters or 5.6 feet, and a launch mass of 27.6 tons, the rocket could carry 420 kilograms or 926 pounds of payload on board. It became the first private device that was able to bring cargo into low Earth orbit. A great achievement, but not the best it could be. Construction of the Falcon 1 consisted of only two stages. The first of them consisted of a supporting element with fuel tanks, an engine, and a parachute system. Kerosene was chosen as a fuel, and liquid oxygen became its oxidizing agent. The second stage also contained fuel tanks and an engine, though the latter had less thrust compared to the one in the first stage. Despite the huge launch cost, $7.9 million, five attempts were made to send the Falcon 1 beyond the borders of our planet, but not all of them were successful. During the debut launch of the rocket, a fire started in the first stage engine. This led to a loss of pressure, which caused the engine to shut down in the 34th second of flight. The second attempt to start the Falcon 1 incurred a problem with the fuel system of the second stage. Fuel stopped flowing into its engine. At 474 seconds of flight, it shut down as well. The third time Falcon 1 went on a flight, it wasn't alone. Of the serious cargo, the rocket carried on board the Trailblazer satellite and two NASA microsatellites. What do you think? Did everything go well this time? There was every chance of it. In phase one, with the first stage, the flight went normally. But when the time came to separate the stages, the first hit the second right when it started its engine. So the second stage couldn't continue its flight. The fourth and fifth launches showed good results, but that wasn't enough. The main problem with the Falcon 1 was low demand due to its low payload abilities. For this reason, development of the rocket stopped. It was decided to do something more serious, namely the Falcon 9. This device can carry on board almost 23 tons of cargo. Imagine that SpaceX once again wanted to send Starlink satellites into space. Each weighs about 260 kilograms or 573 pounds. The Falcon 9 could lift 88 of these devices all at once, provided that the first stage isn't returned. Yes, it's also a two-stage launch vehicle and uses kerosene and liquid oxygen as fuel. The device is currently in operation, and the cost of its launch is equal to $62 million. And fortunately, none of them have failed. The first stage of the rocket is reusable. It can return to Earth and be used again. Now, Falcon 9 is designed to not only launch commercial communication satellites, but also to deliver Dragon cargo ships to the ISS. By the way, why don't we talk about Dragon, namely about Dragon 1, 
Carrying a six-ton payload from the Earth, this drone supplies the ISS with everything it needs. In addition, it also takes goods back. However, when sent to Earth, Dragon 1 cannot carry the same weight. From the ISS, the spacecraft can take only three to three and a half tons of cargo. Despite this drawback, Dragon 1 is now the only cargo spacecraft in the world that can return at least something from the ISS. Way to go, Elon Musk. And yet, it doesn't end there. If the name of the device has a suffix in the form of a number, then it likely has future versions. In this case, it's in the form of the Dragon 2 ship. This time, I'm talking about a manned ship, which was created by order of NASA. The ship is designed to deliver a crew of four people to the ISS and back to Earth. But of course, such a unit cannot be launched into orbit directly from a launch pad. Therefore, this is where the same Falcon 9 booster comes to its aid. Unlike its predecessor, Dragon 2 can dock at the ISS on its own without assistance from a special manipulator. The ship can be brought to the surface of the Earth with the help of parachutes. But there's even another option in case of an accident. With eight Super Draco engines, a manned landing is also possible. With each attempt to create something new, most things get better. Now it seems it's time to talk about something really cool. An ultra-heavy launch vehicle with a payload capacity of almost 64 tons. The most powerful and heavy device at the time of the first launch. I'm talking about the Falcon Heavy. Built on the basis of the Falcon 9, this rocket was first launched on February 6, 2018. The test was successful. The rocket sent Elon Musk's car into space, a red Tesla Roadster. After this debut, subsequent launches were also conducted without problems. The cost of launching one such launch vehicle is estimated at about $150 million. And when you think about it, this price is quite justified, mainly because of its technical equipment. The first stage of the Falcon Heavy consists of three parts, not one. Two side boosters are connected to its base. The first stage of the Falcon 9 FT launch vehicle. It's been specially modified to secure additional elements. In total, three blocks contain 27 incredibly powerful engines, nine in each one. The thrust created during takeoff is comparable to approximately 18 Boeing 747s at full power. In terms of a numerical equivalent, that's about 22.2 million Newtons. Now, imagine the same Boeing, but filled with passengers, baggage, and fuel. This is about the weight that the Falcon Heavy can lift into near-Earth orbit. As for the second stage, there's nothing special about it. This part of the rocket is equipped with a single engine and is similar to the one used on the Falcon 9. Initially, the super heavy rocket was created to send people into space. It was planned that the device would be able to participate in missions flying to the moon as well as to Mars. However, scientists decided to use the giant to send massive loads into space. For example, artificial Earth satellites and automatic interplanetary stations. Also, the Falcon Heavy can carry the spaceship Dragon on board if necessary. But SpaceX plans don't end there. Currently, work is underway on the Starship manned spacecraft. According to its creators, this device will be much larger in mass and size than all of the company's existing rockets. This novelty will be able to deliver cargo into orbit weighing more than 100 tons. The launch of Starship into space is planned for 2022, but not just as a test to some part of space nearby the Earth, but to Mars and with a payload. Does this mean that one of mankind's largest dreams will come true within the next couple of years? Who knows? But these are all prerequisites for it. One way or another, 
space exploration is being taken to a whole new level. Many organizations have already contracted with SpaceX to achieve their goals. Some are planning more serious missions, while others are launching satellites into orbit. In any case, in the future, the company is on a path for success. If you agree, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news from the world of science and space.